Now, the last seven days have brought contrasting emotions for the Marlins' Al Leiter. On Friday, Leiter's wife, Lori, gave birth to the couple's fourth child. Thursday, Leiter's 19-year Major League career may have ended. The Marlins designated Leiter for assignment, so they'll have to trade him or release him within 10 days. Leiter, you may remember, was one of the heroes for Florida during their 97 World Series year, but he couldn't make good on their $8 million investment this year. He went 3-7 and seven with a 6.64 ERA in his 16 starts. Marlins at Citizens Bank Park take on the Phillies. Bobby Abreu moved from third spot to the fourth spot in the Phillies order, and maybe that's because he cleaned up at the home run derby during the All-Star break. A record 41 home runs, and it would rub off on his teammates on Thursday night. Bottom second, nobody out, one on and one gone for Pat Burrow of A.J. Burnett. Two-run shot, number 18 for Burrow, Phillies trail 3-2. Next batter, Ryan Howard, he says, you know what, I think I'll have the same thing. Solo shot for Howard, number four on the year for him, game tied at three, but wait. Phillies power trip continues, Mike Lieberthal, solo shot for him, number seven, and the Phillies up 4-3, bottom six. Phillies up 6-4, one on, one out for Lieberthal. They're just being greedy. Two-run shot for Lieberthal. He said, I was trying to act like Bobby, meaning Abreu. Phillies up 8-4, bottom eight. Burrow coming back for more. Give him 19. Now, this is a three-run shot. He matched the career high with five RBI. Abreu, by the way, 0 for 2, two Ks. He did score twice, though, and the Phillies win it 13-7. More from the NLA, Braves and Mets in Queens for the game. Mets huddle up, getting motivated to face the Braves. In the fourth, tied at one, David Wright versus Horacio Ramirez, and Wright just loves him. His second of the game, 13th of the year, he's got four home runs in his career off Ramirez. Top five, Ryan Langerhans facing Chris Benson. Fly ball curving towards the stands. Cliff Floyd will not be denied. Up and over the wall. And I think we're might, we might have to see Cliff later on in the show. Going to see him again here. Look at it, how far he had to run. Third base up, Ed Hickox had to hurry up, make sure he caught the ball. How would he know? He, he, I guess he just trusted. <laughs> Guy runs that hard, just give it to him. Bottom eight tied at 3 2 on for Mike Piazza off Blaine Boyer. Piazza dialing long distance. Boyer paid for the call. Piazza's first opposite field home run of the season, 10th of the year overall. The Mets take it 6 3. Preston Wilson's first game at the Nationals since the Rockies traded him over. Forget the high on Preston's. He waited until his first at bat for the intro. He hits one high, deep down the left field line, way back there. It is gone! It is first. The man is a national phenomenon. It's the only hit of the day. Bottom seventh game tied at two runners at the corners. Ricky Weeks against Luis Ayala. Weeks hits one back to Ayala. Damian Miller apparently running on contact. When your catcher's in a rundown, it's never a good thing. Game remains tied. But in the eighth, still tied at 2-2 two, two on for Miller with another chance. And this time, Miller makes contact. Enough for a double to left center field to bring in Jeff Jenkins and Russell Brandon. A season-high three RBI for Miller. Brewers go on to win it 4-2. The Natties have lost three in a row. On the Yankees, Kurt Schilling working for the bullpen. Johnny Damon working from the plate in the bottom of the first. Remember, he had that hit streak before the break. It's up to 26 games now. It's top to the major. Same inning. Damon's already scored. Trot Nixon bringing some more home. Three-run shot for him off Mike Mussina. His 10th of the year. Red Sox up 4-0. Mussina, six innings of work. Eight hits, five earned runs, struck out six. Top second, same score. Jason Giambi. Nixon jumps into the stands, but look at the fan. Take one from the home team. And the people don't know whether to jump on him or congratulate him. Nixon's certainly not happy about it. And the guys, are, hey, look, I, I just caught a home run ball. I'm going to be on Sports Center. Move to the top of the fifth, Gary Sheffield. That one's gone. His 18th. Yankees down 5 4. Arroyo gave up three home runs. Middle six, game tied at five. Here's Schilling at the bullpen. Look who's behind Schilling, though. Mariano Rivera also making his way to the bullpen. And Schilling says, dude, I'm a closer too now. Bottom seven, Tanyan starts into pitch. I love it when you call me Big Poppy. David Ortiz, solo shot is 22nd, socks up 6-5. Top eight, same score. Mike Tinlin coming in with a runner on. Ruben Sierra at the plate, and that's going to be trouble. Fair ball, Tony Womack coming around. 
Timlin has allowed 12 of the 19 runners he's inherited this season to score. Top nine, Schilling into pitch. First batter, Gary Sheffield for Schilling. Sheffield says, close this. Off the wall. That's good for a double. Next batter is A-Rod. Schilling's closer experiment, not off to a good start. A-Rod teeing off with a two-run shot. His 24th of the year, Yanks up 8-6. Rick Sutcliffe, what's up? Kurt Schilling, obviously tonight, was not healthy. He could not push off that back leg. It was almost like he was trying to get off of it as quick as he could, rather than being able to use it to get people out. Physically, right now, I'd say he's at about 75%. Bottom nine, Mariano Rivera with a two-run lead says, this is how you close it out. Got David Ortiz, he struck out the side in the ninth. Yanks win at 8-6. Bob Holtzman now with more from Fenway Park. Kurt Schilling's first five pitches out of the bullpen were uneventful, but pitch six was a hanging splitter that Gary Sheffield lined off the wall. Pitch seven, another splitter that Alex Rodriguez nearly launched out of Fenway. I threw two, two real bad, as bad as splits as I can throw in, in situations back-to-back -back pitches, but uh, you know, I felt like my strength coming in was going to be the ability to use whatever pitches I needed to whatever hitters were up there, and uh, I made two two big mistakes back-to-back -to -back tonight. I don't think it was an advantage shilling. He needs to pitch and pitch more, and as long as he pitches with health, we'll get the guy we're looking for. I'm very confident in that. It's one night. Um, you know, I'm disappointed, extremely disappointed in what happened, but um, you know, I might have the ball tomorrow night in the seventh, eighth, or ninth inning again. So, I mean, it can be as miserable as I want, but I, I, this, one's, this is over. Schilling says he will definitely be ready to pitch again if called upon on Friday. And don't be surprised if Terry Francona uses him. The Red Sox manager says when you have good players, the best way to get rewarded is with patience. In Boston, Bob Holtzman, ESPN. For all the talk about Schilling, don't forget A-Rod. He's finally got a reason to smile at Fenway Park. He had been in a terrible two-for-19 slump in this at the second half. Strong Thursday in Cleveland. They're 26-5 and five against the AL Central so far this season. Bottom five, one nothing White Sox. Man on second, Aaron Boone. Well hit, but Juan Uribe with a diving catch. Give me that. we we'll see him later on in the show. Bottom six, Travis Hafner up. That's pretty well hit. Scott Putsett, he says, where is it? But Aaron Rowan says, don't worry, dog, I got your back. And <laughs> he had no idea, but that's just good teamwork. Bottom seven, Jose Contreras facing Johnny Peralta. Strike three looking. Contreras, seven innings work, seven Ks, no earn runs. Bottom nine, Dustin Hermanson facing Rod Belliard with a man on. And that's not going to do any damage. White Sox improved to 23-9 and nine in one-run games this season. They win a one-zip. Hey, we've already seen one Boone in this block. Brett Boone in uniform of the Twins with L.A. and I'm whatever in town. First start for the Twins. Torrey Hunter against Jared Washburn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, designate that a top play nominee. My Sarah is tourist at the plate now. Grounds to Boone. Who needs familiarity? He starts the 4-6-3 double play. Also went 0 for 4 in his Twins debut at the plate. Top five, game tied at two. Adam Kennedy up. Singles to right. Is tourist is going to score from third. Halos up 3-2 later in the inning. Garrett Anderson with the bases loaded. Lines out to Matt LeCroy. Steps on the bag for the inning end of the double play. So it's still just 3-2 in the ninth. Francisco Rodriguez gets Michael Ryan. Angels win 3-2. That's four straight on the road. Jared Washburn now 4-0 at the Metrodome. Detroit baseball post-All-Star. Coulda, woulda, might have been All-Star Jeremy Bonneman on the mound for Detroit. 11-5 this season, but 6-19 in 2003. Remember that. The first, Matt Stairs. Stares that down. Two-run shot. Ninth of the season. 2-0 Royals. Zach Reinke on the mind for the Royals. 1-11 this team, which means we can project he'll be, what, a 20-game winner in 07? Maybe. Pretty much. Could surpass Bonnerman's 19 losses in 03, except he kept striking people out. Three strikeouts, five hits allowed, two runs in five and a third. Trying to get the win because Stairs is on his side, and you are so not catching that. Off Franklin Herman, grand slam, ninth career grand slam for him. Royals win at 12-9. Franklin gets the win. He is two. Pirates to start the second half of the season. Chicago just wants healthy pitchers. 
Mark Pryor, 5-0, 2.80 career ERA versus the Pirates. Got off to a good start. He gets Rob McCoviak swinging. Jason Bay looking, and then Craig Wilson swinging. He struck out the side in the first inning. But that wasn't all he did. Look at Pryor with a sweet stroke for a base hit in the bottom of the third. Two batters later, Todd Walker says, why don't you come on home with me? Walker's fourth of the season. Two-run shot, Cubs up 2-1. to one. Pryor's next at bat, runner on second this time. He's not just a hitter, he's a clutch hitter. Henry Blanco scores, Cubs up 5-1. to one. Pryor two for three with the RBI, like what? Top seven gets Jack Wilson. Pryor eight innings of work, two hits, one unearned run, and he struck out 10. San Diego now, Diamondbacks, Padres doing business there. Brian Lawrence, hoping to help the first place Padres get off to a good second half, but wasn't good for him. He hits Chad Tracy, their next batter, Luis Gonzalez, and he plunked him too. Two batters later, Sean Green up. Dave Roberts can't snag it. Tracy scores. D-backs up one nothing. Top second. D-backs still up one nothing. Alex Cintron, look out. He got hit as well. Three hit batters for Lawrence. Came into the game with only five on the year. Later in the inning, Chad Tracy. That'll be good for an RBI double. Cintron and Craig Council score the D-backs with a three nothing lead. Bottom third, Javier Vasquez cruising. Gets Damian Jackson. Vasquez, eight innings of work, four hits, struck out four, no runs. D-backs win at six nothing. The Giants sitting on 9,999 franchise wins, most in American major sports history. Still looking for 10K against the Dodgers. They've beaten them a bunch of those times. Brad Penny bunching it to Jason Smith. Goes to second, not in time, throw to first. Penny is safe, but then he's out. And here's why. Penny doesn't get it, but he's about to get the explanation. He crossed first base. He's safe there. And then he goes into fair territory, makes a move towards second. He's fair game, and now he's out. You don't really need to spend a penny for Brad's thoughts because they are readily apparent to you, to I, and to umpire Rob Drake, who is going to give Penny the gate. He's done after three innings. One all in the seventh. Omar Vizquel layered down and smack him, yak him. Vizquel muscling up for the three-run shot. Giants go up 4-1. Hold on to win at 4-3. Happy 10K by the Bay. Drama in Seattle. Rappi came in two hits shy of 3,000 for his career coming into Thursday's game. Fourth inning, Palmero's son watching dad in his second at bat after a ground out his first time up. That is vintage Rappi. Single down the right field line. Career hit number 2,999. Top six, Palmero still looking for 3,000. That's not going to get it done. Slow grounder to first, doesn't get the hit this time. He's hitting 269 in the year. Watch what happens on the way out of the box. He's a surefire Hall of Famer, but 40-year-old legs don't really function like they once did, and he's getting the business from his teammates from Baltimore. Top eight, Palmero, another chance. White ready with the camera, but Julio Mateo just walked. Well, the Mariners aren't having all that great a season. They're here to see a little history. Palmero finished one for three. His son and everyone else will have to wait until at least Friday. O's win 5-3. Rangers and A's hooking up in Oakland. Rich Harden is one of the reasons the A's let two of their big three get away in the offseason. Top five, Rangers trailing 2-0. Two outs, Kevin Mench up the middle. Great play by Mark Ellis. And I think we're going to see him a little bit later on in the show. Harden perfect through five innings. Top six. Rangers trailing 4 nothing, Two outs. Gary Matthews Jr. Harden now perfect through six. Trying to stay loose in the dugout between innings. Don't talk to him. Top seven. A's up six. Zip. One out. Michael Young. Sit down. Two outs in the seventh. Still top seven. Mark Teixeira batting. 1-0 count. Harden throws ball two. Now watch this. Before Harden gets the ball back, he puts his hand to his mouth. So now Ed Rapuano caught him, and that's an automatic ball three. So now the count, three and zero to Teixeira. Next pitch, strike one. Next pitch, fouled off. So now it's three two. Next pitch, Teixeira. And that's not going to be a problem for Harden. Works out of the 3 0 jam. Perfect game through seven. Top eight. A's leading 6 0. Hank Blaylock over to first. Harden five outs away from a perfect game. Next batter is Alfonso Soriano. And Soriano says, I got your perfect game right here. So, no perfect game, no no hitter, but they got love for Harden in Oaktown. 
Top nine, six nothing A's, two outs. Michael Young up once again. Harden trying to close it out, and he does. Gets the shutout, two hitter. No earned runs, eight Ks. A's win it six zip, and they've won four in a row. We considered the dessert portion of the sports center feast. It's our top place. We start with 10. Mm. Rangers A's, Jason Kendall lines at the center, but look at Lance Lewis. Making it happen out there. This doesn't really matter in one hit. Number nine, U.S. Amateur Public Links Championship. Michelle Wee from the rough. Chips it in the hole to have the hole. She beat Jim Renner in the afternoon. She's on to the quarterfinals. For number eight, we go to San Diego. The Wave House Grand Opening. Man-made wave riding for all surfers so they can really, really maximize their slacking. <laughs> number seven. From the British Open, Steve Webster on number nine. And this is an even better chip than Ms. Wee's chip. He drops it in. Number six, Nationals Brewers. He hits one high, deep down the left field line, way back there, it is gone! And his first at bat as a Washington National, Preston Wilson goes deep. How about that? Number five, Braves and Mets. Bunning, he pops it up, the dive by Wright, and now they're going to double off Marte as Wright walks it back in there. How about that to end the inning? And David wasn't the only one who was right on Thursday. Back to the British Open for number four, Tiger Woods had it going. Six under 66. Had to hit out at the sand occasionally. That worked out for him as well. And Tiger takes a one-shot lead into Friday's round two. Number three, White Sox and Indians. This one ripped and caught by one Uribe at short. Wow. More wow. Yanks, the Sox. The Red Sox are basically inventing medical procedures. Here's a deep drive to center by Alex Rodriguez. That ball is gone. A towering two-run homer for A-Rod. Number one, Cliff Floyd, Braves and Mets, all-out hustle. Unfortunately, check him out on the run. Great for him. Cliff Floyd, did he get it? I think he got it. He did make the catch. Floyd tumbling over, made a spectacular catch. Got 